You got to love this stuff, right? We're on fire, baby. It's getting hot in here. I don't know about what you're sitting and watching this, but boy, am I hot. Woo! Why is it that you're sitting here today taking this class? I mean, what could be the reason? What would be the motivation to sit and study? I don't know. What could be the motivation? I, I'm not really sure, but it might have something to do with making money. Don't ever forget the reason why you're sitting here in class, folks. This credential will pay you back the rest of your life, which means to you and I, fasten your seatbelt. We've got one more entity to do, and then you guys can get to the library and review this class, because I know you're dying to do that. I want to wish you guys good luck studying. Stay in. You have no friends. You have no fa I am your only family from here on in, okay? And there's an inverse relationship between happiness and likeliness to pass the exam. The more miserable you are studying, the more prepared you're going to be and the higher the likelihood you're going to pass. I'm having a good time working with you guys. We've got two more classes to go. I'll see you in the next class. Good luck studying. So good luck studying, stay in and study, don't go out. And there's an inverse relationship between happiness and likeliness to pass the exam. The more miserable you are studying, the more likely it is you're retaining the information, you're going to pass the exam and help me earn my bonus. Good luck studying, I'll see you guys in BEC 3. Most of you are going to be very upset, but if you go to page 54, here is your date for Saturday night. Whatever you were going to do this weekend, you need to cancel. Because on Saturday, especially Saturday night, because I know that personally speaking, this information is most likely to be retained when you're studying at like 10 o'clock on a Saturday night. While your friends are at the bar, not you, you're going to be in the library studying. And while I mention that, you need to tell your boyfriend or girlfriend right now, or your husband or wife, to get off your back between now and the time you take the BEC section of the exam. You've got to study, you've got to review, you've got to put in the time. Because as you could tell, nothing here was difficult. What makes this challenging is the quantity of material. And this is only one of the five chapters. So, so long as you're diligent, you come to all the classes and you do all the work, you're going to pass a BEC. And I'm with you in this. And I'll tell you why I'm so excited about this. Because my compensation and my bonus is dependent upon your success. And I promise you right now, I'm going to make a legally binding contract and offer acceptance, consideration, legality, and legal capacity. I'm going to offer it to you. If you help me earn my bonus, I promise each and every one of you out there to kick you back part of my bonus. That's right. I will find you and buy you a cup of coffee or something like that. Already? Okay. I know, I know this upsets you, but we only have, what is it? Just a page or two left. That's it. And then you're done with regulation. You'll pass this. If you've got other parts, you'll pass them as well and then you'll be a big time CPA. Don't forget me when you're rich and famous. All I ask is a single dollar. Just send me a dollar, help me pay off my student loans, it'd be nice, put my kids through college, all that kind of good stuff. Just remember the little people who helped you get there. All right, you guys ready? I got a surprise for you before we get started. Uh, I'm a new dad. Uh, my son's 13 months old. I want to introduce you to my little boy. Now, I love my son very much for many reasons, but I don't know if you could read this. But this is the best reason to have kids, you know? It's a beautiful thing, my little man. And I gotta tell you something else. Tim Garrity is a multi, multi millionaire. Do you know what he gets my son for his birthday? This t shirt. Shows you the kind of guy Tim Garrity is, right? So when you fill out the evaluations, you gotta crush Tim, man. You gotta build me up big time, because I'm starving over here. My son's forced to wear this shirt. It's not even April 15th. Okay, little man, say bye bye. Say bye bye. No bye bye. Okay.